The Batman TV series, which aired from 1966 to 1968, is a colorful and take on the iconic DC comic superhero, Batman. Starring Adam West as the titular Cape Crusader and Burt Ward as his trusty sidekick, Robin. The show brought a unique blend of humor, action, and adventure to television screens. Set in the fictional Gotham City, the series is known for its vibrant, over-the-top visual style and light-hearted tone. Unlike the darker interpretations of Batman in later adaptations, this series embraces a playful and comedic approach, making it accessible and enjoyable for audiences of all ages. The iconic opening theme song and animated title sequence set the stage for the zany adventures that followed. Adam West's portrayal of Batman or Bruce Wayne is charismatic, witty, and earnest, capturing the essence of a hero dedicated to justice. Each episode typically follows a two-part format, ending with a cliffhanger that leaves viewers eagerly awaiting the next installment. The show's formula includes a mix of crime fighting, detective work, and campy humor, with Batman and Robin often finding themselves in elaborate death traps set by their foes. The series left an indelible mark on pop culture with its campy style, memorable catchphrases, and iconic bat gadgets such as the Batmobile and the Batcave, which have become ingrained in the public's perception of Batman. Adam West's portrayal of Batman became legendary and his performance is still fondly remembered by fans. Despite its light-hearted approach, the series paved the way for future superhero television shows and movies, demonstrating the broad appeal of comic book characters. The Batman TV series remain a beloved classic, celebrated for its humor, creativity, and nostalgic charm. Hey you everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we take a nostalgic trip back to the 1960s and explore the iconic Batman TV series starring Adam West as the Cape Crusader. Join us as we dive into the vibrant world of Gotham City with this latest release from McFarlane DC Multiverse Batman from the classic TV series. Let us start with the packaging. The front of the box states DC Multiverse and that iconic logo of Batman Classic TV Series. It has a huge clear window where you can see the figure and everything that comes with it. At the right side of the box, we see that Classic TV Series logo again and McFarlane Toys Batman Classic TV Series. The left shows a continuation of the clear window, DC Multiverse Batman, and a QR code promoting DC Universe Infinite. Finally, the back of the box shows a photo of Adam West as Batman from the show. That is it for the packaging, so let us crack this thing open and see if McFarlane gives justice to Adam West's Batman in action figure form. The figure scales at uh, seven and a quarter inches or eighteen point five centimeters. For accessories, he comes with the standard McFarlane art card with a short data file of the character at the back. Standard McFarlane base or stand with the DC logo. Alternate dancing hands. Sorry, guys, I just really had to do it. Alternate pointy hands when he finally solved the mystery. And I don't know what motion this is, but this is another alternate hands. I guess I use it for holding the bat iPad, well, at least that's what I call it, the bat tablet or bat 
iPad. This is what I call the bat iPad or bat tablet or I don't know whatever this is. Maybe a mobile version of the bat computer. You know, because he's Batman. In the 60s, he's already, you know, modern. He already has an, a mobile iPad or tablet. Whatever, guys. He has this. And of course, what's Batman without the battering. There's even a hole in that. Uh, I was thinking maybe the they, they wanted to put a string there or something, but yeah, we can put the string there, you know, so that we can do that uh, building climbing thingy scene that they do. Okay, guys, now let's have a closer look at the figure. Man, have you ever had that experience wherein just the first time you saw an action figure, you just fall in love with it? Because that's actually what I felt with this one. I don't know. I was actually, I can't really quite put my finger on it why I just love this figure when I saw it even inside the box. But looking at it, I guess I guess it's because McFarlane actually, actually captured Adam West's charm. In this action figure, I mean, just look at that. Just look at the head sculpt. They definitely did uh, an amazing work on the head sculpt. That is Adam West. Even the body mold, man, they, they, they did capture it. I love it. Uh, I'm not sure if they reuse any part here. Possibly the hands and the legs, but as far as I can see, the torso. This is an original mold, specifically made for Adam West Batman. I mean, yeah, I'm pretty sure that there will be more releases of this figure, maybe for a different color and different head sculpt, especially now that I think that they got the license for the likeness of Adam West. I'm pretty sure they're going to milk this. Uh, IP. I don't really buy those. Uh, they they're um, six inch Batman sixty six toys because they just don't appeal to me. And I, I I must admit when I bought this because I bought this blindly. Uh, uh it was the promo pics for this is not yet shown. I I was really having second thoughts, but the first time I saw the promo pick that McFarlane released on this figure, I just fell in love with it. I know that I'm going to enjoy it. This is an amazing figure. Plus, the fact that they decided to give him this sub good, the cloud cape, is genius. It is amazing. For me, this is a perfect execution of the figure. This is an amazing Adam West Batman action figure. It just became my instant favorite. Okay, guys, I guess it's obvious after everything that I said that I love this figure. So let me just give you guys a quick scan of the figure's details and mold. So for the head sculpt, let's get let's do a turnaround there. The the cape is actually I don't know. The first I was kind of doubtful with the material they use, but yeah, it is perfect for the character. I love the color of this cape. There's the bat logo and then the utility belt. Then here's the back of the figure. Yeah, perfection. I love this figure. Now let's go to the articulation. You can look down that far. You can look up that far. You can do side to side. So head sculpt articulations there. Even this portion, the, this engineering that I don't like McFarlane does, I don't know what they did, but 
it really works in this figure. I love it. So you can do the T-pose, typical McPerlin, you know, articulation, bicep cut, double jointed elbow, double fagged wrist. Abdominal cut, waist rotation, so you can lean back that far, you can lean forward a little, side to side, for the leg, you can, he has tie swivel there. Then double jointed knee. Then for the ankle, it can do that. Then it can do that. To articulation, do that. And then it also has an ankle rocker. You can kick that far and kick backward that far. Then you can do the bend them that far. Overall, typical McFarlane articulation. Nothing surprising here. What can I say, guys? This. It's one of the most charming figure I've ever had. McFarlane definitely captured Adam West's essence in this figure because the pen factor is just limitless. If you get a chance to get this figure, get it. It is definitely a mess buy. So guys, if you reached this part of my video, thanks a lot. And if you like my video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And again, guys, enjoy life and keep collecting.